is an angle of 30 degrees, so you can see here. And every 60 seconds, we were recording the temperatures of T1, T2, T3, and T4, and also the flow rate and the solar intensity. From here, we're going to have to calculate the incidental energy, the energy absorbed by the water, and the heat. We will now calculate EI, which is the incident energy, H, which is the energy absorbed by the water, and L, which are the losses. EI is given by the radiation intensity times the collector area, which in this case, it will be equals to 1358.4 watts. The energy absorbed of the water is given by the mass flow rate times the temperature difference times the specific heat capacity of the water. To calculate the mass flow rate, you need to multiply the density times the volumetric flow rate. Using the values obtained from our experiment, H will be equal to the following, which is equals to 1,554.8 watts. The losses are given by the incident energy plus the energy input by the pump minus the energy absorbed by the water which in this case is equal to 363.59. The efficiency is given by the following formula. For this case, an efficiency of approximately 73% is obtained. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.